Okay, like everybody else, we stripped out some bolts on the uh, cam cap, well the cam cap bolt threads in the head stripped out. First off, uh, we're going to helicoil these things, but this, uh, this alignment sleeve is in the way. So we came up with a little plan to get it out. This happens to be a eighth inch pipe tap, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be any tap that you don't really care about too much because it might get goofed up. I already did tear the teeth out of one of them, I have to admit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this in here. For, for a Toyota 3VZE, um, the eighth inch pipe tap works perfect. It's just the right size. And what's going to happen here, if it works like the other ones did, is it's going to keep threading in. You notice I'm not backing off because I don't really want to clear the chips. All right, I'm not really tapping a hole. Um, what's going to happen is it's going to get so sticky that it's going to spin that, that sleeve. And then I'll pull it out. Hopefully, anyway. I think I will clear these threads one time just for kicks or chips rather okay so hopefully you will see this work like it did in the other ones there it goes all right so now I'm gonna back this out all right so I can get the tap back out of here fairly easily Alright, so I've got some decent moving threads there, but now I'm going to crank it back down so it binds and I'm going to pull while I'm turning it to the right. You can see it's coming out. There it is. We noticed, we don't know if you noticed, but we noticed a little piece of steel fall into the, into the head, so we grabbed it with a magnet, but... Uh, we also noticed that the cam oil hole happened to be lined up perfect with all our work, but thankfully the chips got caught in the uh, in the grease that was there. We're going to grease that up again before we uh, do any more drilling on that with with this exposed. Anyway, we're going to bolt this back on before we drill our hole for our Healy coil because we like to use this for a lineup. And um, we already did the Healy coil in this hole, so we're good to go here. Um, now we'll just use this for a lineup for drilling. Last time we drilled, we didn't need the vacuum until after we were done drilling. But uh, you can see how the drill can move a little bit up and down, a little bit side to side. We're going to split the difference in that and go for it. Okay, now uh, we've got, you can see the drill bit is marked with a flag of tape here. That's how deep we're allowed to go uh, before we hit the bottom of the hole. We measured that out. So anyway, um, now we'll vacuum a little on our way out. Now we got this uh, Uper rigmarole here on our shop vac. Uh, kind of, you might call it a bit of a reducer. kind of dorky but it works next is tapping it of course tap magic that's a very good idea when you're tapping aluminum particularly as I learned from my buddy Pete who has 
a job machining things and a degree machining things, so way more than I do. So, now, Ryan's going to tell me if I'm looking good straight up and down this way, and I'm going to look straight up and down this way. How's that look? Um, looks, you're down a little bit. Okay. That's better. Good. Mm -hmm. Right there. How's that? Looks good so far. You're going down a little. Oop. How's that? Uh, you're down a hair. Mm. Right there? Yeah, that's better. How's that look? Might be down a little, but not much. Okay, I'll push up a little. How's that look? That looks good right there. Okay. And I'm looking good side to side. Whoop. How's it looking right now? Uh, you're a little up, I think. Right there? I don't think it moved. Right there? Um, can you go down anymore? Not oh, right. sure. I don't think I should, though. Oh, okay. Well. Alright. Let's go with that. How does that look right now? Um, it looks like maybe down a little. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay, I'll go up a hair. There. All right, and we're calling her good. It started. I always go about a turn, three quarters of a turn, or one turn, and then break the chips off. Breaking the chips is about a quarter turn back. You can feel them break. Now, these taps that come with Healy coils are very tight. They're very, I guess what I would call, nice. They feel like you're doing a good job um, making this threaded hole. Maybe, maybe a half to three quarters of a turn is more like what I do. Something like that. Kind of go by feel. Once it stops, or once it wants to start stopping, it's time to break the chips off. And then you're going to feel yourself hit the bottom of the hole at some point. Probably right about now. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, that's the bottom of the hole. So now I'll back out. Let me vacuum. Um... I think we're okay for right now. Let's get this out of here. Then we can stick our little super uper ultimate reduction vacuum in the hole. There it came. Alright, so after you uh, tap this out, you'll want to clean up all the little chips of aluminum and junk. We were using a Q-tip because we had them handy. They seem to grab the metal real nice. You want that to be awfully, awfully clean when you're all done. It's got to be pretty, pretty much perfect. Oh yeah, there's some junk oil on there. Mm-hmm. All right. So, one more. all right. There's still some. The grease helps a lot. Make it stick. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's good to. You can see we plugged the hole with the hole in the oil hole in the cam with assembly lube too. So, can't really focus on the Q-tip without giving my hand to focus on as well. Yeah. Great. There it is. There's yeah. A little bit of metal. All right. Cool. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good for right now. I don't know if you can see the Healy coil. Or this is pre-Healy coil. Those are just the threads. Yeah. Tapped in. That's just it. So it's ready for a coil. You get your Healy coil tool out. Yeah. Thread it on there. You can see on the tip of it, it's got that little tab that holds the 
Healy coil and lets you screw it in. All right, so here we go. Yep, stick it in the hole, make sure it's straight. You gotta give kind of a little push to get it started and uh, you'll feel it go in. It's kind of weird and springy feeling as it's going in because you're dragging that that coil in behind it, behind the tip of the tool basically. Can't really see it, but I'm going to light. You can see the coils almost all the way in. A little bit more maybe, like one more turn. Yeah, another half a turn. That'll be good, I think. You can check it out. Alright. Yeah, or maybe go in, that could go in maybe one more turn, hey? Sure. I don't know, or even a half a turn. We want those threads to be backed up on the aluminum as much as possible. Yeah. All right, awesome. Okay, now, I have to break that little tab off the bottom of the threads, which, since chainsaw files are part of life here, and awesome garage quality hammers are part of life here, just give it a quick pop, that's all it takes, snaps the end off, and then we'll take the super uper reduction vacuum machine and get that little uh, doohickey out of the bottom of the hole. Now we gotta reinstall this uh, sleeve because I don't know if I said it before or not, but the Healy coil tap is too big to go through it, so you have no choice. You have to pull it out. And this happens to be eight eight by one twenty five thread pitch, one point two five uh, for these bolts. So just kind of rest it in there, get it so it looks happy. I like to use a brass drift because it keeps me from getting my hammer head too close to that camshaft. And brass is softer than steel, so that's a good thing. And that should be about right. That feels good. Wish it would focus. Oh, it's focused behind it, hey? There, so anyway, we, we dove that in from Drove that in using this brass drift. You can see the threads that we put in there with the uh, eighth inch pipe tap. So anyway, that'll do its job just fine. All right, so now we're gonna finish the cap up. You gotta put a little scooch of the uh, silicone on there to seal that according to the manual, which of course we will do. fine hey huh? those have been brake cleaned and ready for action and this is as well so now that should sit right down over those lineup sleeves and there we go now get the bolts there you go well, here I go the uh, if you really want to hedge your bet Go to the hardware store and get yourself some 40 millimeter bolts. Those will go right to the bottom or near the bottom of the hole. Um, I think that hole is about 42 or 43 deep, so um, you're safe with a 40. But anyway, um, then you're going to engage all those nice new threads you just put in the hole. So we are uh, good to go. The other side is already torqued, and this side will be torqued, and we're done. See how it works. Oh, all right, here. We're using a good old-fashioned beam torque wrench. Torque it to about 
five or six, and then do the bottom one right. to about five or six or seven or whatever, and then go back to the top one, and bring it to the final 12 foot-pounds. Okay. And they worked. Yeah. Done. Nice. All tightened up almost. Use the Makita with the little, uh, whatever you call it. There. there we go. Tightens it just about enough. Now, if you're lucky enough to be watching this before you pull the threads out of your head, um, one thing you could think about doing is run a normal, like this one here, um, run a normal 8 millimeter by 1.25 thread pitch down to the bottom of the hole. It's not threaded all the way from the factory, but if you run this down to the bottom of the hole and then either get or make a, uh, a bottoming tap, I just ground this one on the grinder, making sure to keep it nice and cool during the grinding process. Um, ground it a little at a time and, and then uh, uh, dunked it in water. So I just ground a tiny bit at a time, keep it nice and cool. But this bottoming tap, then if you run a bottoming tap right down to that bottom of the hole, and then use 40 millimeter bolts, you would probably have enough threads to not strip them out. But that's like I say, if you're uh, lucky enough to have uh, not destroyed them yet. So that's the key. And next time I take one of these things apart, that's what I'm going to do is uh, tap it with a normal tap and then uh, with the uh, either purchased or homemade bottoming tap. That's it. Good luck to you. That's about all I got.